Now, Bernard, there was a fairly radical change at the end of the 40s into the start of the 50s when the old wing-shaped cars went out and beautiful cars like this were introduced by Vauxhall. These two particularly very American influences. Why did you think they, they went down that particular route? Well, I think it was a sign of the times because uh, uh, a lot of the designs here were approved by the states, but it was going that way. You know, we were trying to get away of the pre-war image uh, and to bring into a new image of the 50s, you know. And, and we had just had uh, uh, the Festival of Britain in 1951, and this was sort of the sign of the times, you know. What are the main features on this car from, from the 1953 to the, the ones we looked at previously from the late 20s? I mean, how, how had things progressed? Well, this has got a short-stroke engine in it, where all the others were long-stroke engines, so the engines actually uh, uh, revved higher revs than what... Uh, it, than the older cars, but it had got uh, hydraulic brakes as well, uh, which we had uh, in, in, in the 30s, you see. But other than that, it, uh, is, as you can see, it's got a, a side opening bonnet, which we didn't run for too long because people forgot to, to lock them and they used to blow over the top. <laughs> but it was very handy for the mechanic because he could undo either side and take the whole bonnet off all in one go. What about things like this, this, this screen just above the, above the windscreen? What, what was the thinking behind that? Well, probably to keep the sun out, but it just had got sun visors. But it's a very sought after extra. You just uh, go for hen's teeth, ain't it? You know, it's incredible. You don't see very many uh, cars with them on at all. And then we progressed on to this, this car from 1959, I think it was. Yes, that's the, the PA uh, model. That came in after the E type. Uh, and it's got more of an uh, American and a bit of German influence. If you look at some of the old Opals, they had a, a similar body shape to that. But that's a, a, a six cylinder, and they only did that model in six, they didn't do it in a four. The, the, the black one, uh, the e -tart, they did it in six and four cylinders. Now, Bernard, this is a very familiar car, the Vauxhall Viva, introduced in 1964. I think at one stage we've probably all had one of these Vauxhall Vivas. I remember my parents had one. The, the thinking behind the, the Viva's introduction was to, to try and relate to the, to the Mini at the time, I think. That's correct, yes. We hadn't got a small car at the time, and we brought this one out just after the Mini, and it was very successful, and it went on uh, to two other models afterwards. And they, they sold tremendously well? Well, we started building this particular model in Luton and then we opened our plant at Ellesmere Port and, and they started making them as well. So we've had a chance to view here at the Heritage Centre in Luton cars right the way through from the very first Vauxhall built in 1903 right the way through to the 1980s and perhaps the car that was the saving grace for the Luton plant, the Vauxhall Cavalier, which we all know and love. It's been a very interesting tour, a chance to see some beautiful old cars which Vauxhall have very carefully restored right the way back from the very first car built in 1903.